Peach Squad. Welcome back to the series. Today's the second minute episode of the Fat Loss series. Um, you know, I'm gonna train Janet tomorrow. Today is um, Tuesday, September 24th. Um, before I go on, I wanna introduce you to the new member of the Peach Squad. Welcome, little ghost. Ghost, say hi to Peach Squad. Peach Squad, say hello to the new member of the family. Little ghost right here, look at him. He has blue eyes, he's a red nosed pit bull. Him and Heaven love each other, they get along. It's just let y'all know. At first I didn't know how I was gonna be a little Pomeranian with a pit bull, but they love each other. Heaven loves having a brother, don't you? You don't like being a little lonely dog anymore, do you? Oh, little ghost, ghost, ghost. So the story on how I ended up um, getting this new doggy was um, one of the trainers at the gym he had, this was his dog right but he couldn't really take care of him any longer so he asked if i could just you know keep him because you know he didn't have a home for him and he knows how much i love little heaven right here and how i take care of dogs and how much i love dogs and at first i didn't give him a straight answer like i didn't want to just tell him yes because i wanted to see how how um ghosts and heaven you know how they react to each to one another but then i brought him home and then you know, I just couldn't say no anymore. So I kept little Ghost. His name is Ghost. He's 10 weeks old. I'm so much happier now. So real quick, um, before I continue on with this video, I need to give Janet a call because, you know, we worked out yesterday, right? And something that a lot of people don't know, especially when they first start working out, is that they're going to get really sore, you know, and they don't know how that soreness feels. And a lot of people are not going to want to work out, but you can still work out when you're sore. You just can't. Um, you know, push your body to the limits. You know, you could still work out when you're sore. So I'm gonna give her a call just to like, give her some positive feedback, you know, encourage her a little bit, especially because this is her second day to something she's never done before. And a lot of you who are joining on, on this journey, you are gonna know you're gonna wake up sore, your body's gonna be hurting, you're not, you're gonna wanna give up, but it's just the second day. You know, if you keep this going before you know it, your body is, you're not even gonna rec even recognize yourself. You're gonna be, turning into something like magical. Hey, so, um, Janet, what's up? Hi. <laughs> you didn't know you told me that. You should just like... <clears throat> hey, so, you're sore from all over the place or what? Dude, it's yeah, crazy and that's... I can't even walk. And it's crazy because we only did two leg exercises. I told you. That's why I do it like that. Oh, from the planks? Yeah. I yeah. Like and we didn't even do that much. But I'm <laughs> telling you, like, I'm starting to slow because I knew it was going to happen. I didn't want to do too much because then you probably would have been way too sore to even move today. But when you're sore, all you need to do is just like get blood flowing through the muscles. You know, like just say your legs are sore. That's why, that's why I started first walking and then I started jogging. Yeah, and then you felt better, huh? Yeah, I'm like, I can't be like baking it, like going like moving slow, you know. I have to like move my blood, you know. How you feel? It's already all the way up. Um, okay, so for the um, food that you just sent me, what is that? It's um, sweet potato. Sweet potato? Yeah, smashed. Um, baby potatoes. Uh-huh. Um, um, the picture, everything was good, but the asparagus, how did you cook that? Um, she put, um, what is it called? Oil. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Ay, I knew it. I'm just like, this, that asparagus doesn't look right. I knew something was wrong with it. Don't tell her not to. You, how much oil does she use? A little bit, like. Hey, try to use The teaspoon is still a lot, though. I mean, for but just it was if a you're gonna. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, okay, that's fine, I guess. But like, don't be using oils every time you cook. Don't be using them every time you cook. Cause it catches up. Like, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot of fat. Um, and then. Everything else that you sent me yesterday was good. Um, tomorrow morning, you might still be sore and it's gonna be hard to wake up. I feel it right now, but like... Yeah, it might be worse, but you gotta go, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. It's day yeah. three of your journey. Day three, yeah. It's gonna be a little bit more. I'm gonna give you like, maybe like two more exercises, but you'll be good. And then I'm gonna set you up like for Friday and then next week. You'll do more, like it's gonna, you're just gonna, I'm just gonna build you up like that. But, yeah, everything you're doing good, send me the, keep sending me the pictures. I feel like not even going to the park, but I feel like I'm gonna 
was like, no, I have to. Yeah, it's day two, you can't I, already lag. Yeah, I was like, I have to. Even if you only did it for 10 minutes, it's cool. You know, at least the effort's there, and then eventually you'll build up on that. Yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, you have any other questions? Because I know we worked already. There's your second okay, day. There's probably something else. Huh? Hold on. Okay. Can I drink this? No. The what is that again? The ju the juice smoothies. Let me look at the back. Let me see. Let me see the nutrition facts. Um. No, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, cause they have a lot of sugar and it's okay. processed too. It's better if you make your own juices. Okay. Yeah, cause I thought it was that. I forgot the brand. The juice smoothies. Yeah, those you can't drink for sure. I, I, I think it starts with an N. Nectar? Naked. Naked. naked, naked, yeah, for sure. Like, don't drink any naked juices. Like, I know, like, you just see vegetables or fruits and whatever, you think it's healthy, but it's a lot. Like, a lot of sugar, a lot of carbs. Um, but yeah, if you have any more questions, just text me. You're gonna get a lot more questions as time goes on. And just drink two protein shakes. Like, you could, you could drink them whenever. It could be... For for your for your breakfast, it could be as a snack before bed. It doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna drink it before when I come home. Yeah. From school. Okay. Or when I leave from school. Yeah. I have a I have a school at six thirty. Okay. So I'm gonna drink it like at six. Okay. So I just ate. I'm probably gonna eat a snack in between. That's if I get hungry, and then um, before I go to school, I'm gonna take my shake. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Um, but other than that, be ready for Wednesday. Okay. All right, 6 a.m. You already know the traffic, so you won't be late. Take the street. Don't. don't take the freeway. I'm going to, like, get up earlier. Yeah. All right. I already know. All right. See you Wednesday. Okay, bye. Day number, well, day number three, but it's our second day working out. How do you feel, Janet? I feel good. So, I know it's only been two days. We've been, we've done one workout. How do you feel so far, Jenny? I feel good. I was a little sore for the, the next day. So, the next day, yeah, the next day you were super sore and it was like hard for you to run, huh? Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah. How long did you run for? Um, I didn't run, I jogged. Yeah, it's, it's hard to run when you're like super sore, <laughs> yeah. huh? But like, um, did it go away um, after a little, like, yeah, it did. after like five minutes it goes away, huh? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it's because I think I told you yesterday, but I don't know if I did. Usually when you're sore, all you need is like, uh, what is it, blood flow through those muscles. Yeah, I can move my legs because I'm like... And then like the soreness goes away. Yeah, there's a lot of people that think you have to take supplements and stuff, but it's just, it's going to happen, you're going to get sore. Yeah. And what about the diet? Like what did you eat yesterday? Like what was your breakfast? Oatmeal. The first two days. Oatmeal. Oatmeal and then my protein cake and then um, basically for lunch, it was like um, rice and chicken. You ate chicken? Yeah. It's because you sent me the picture and like it was like rice, asparagus, and like potatoes. I didn't see chicken. Yeah, it was chicken. Oh, okay. So that's why I ate chicken. Mm. Yeah. And then um, before bed, you drink a shake? Um, or when do you drink the, sh the second shake? The second shake, I drink it like around six. Do you feel hungry at all? Like, you're good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I just need to drink a lot of water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, You don't have to carry because there's a lot of people that carry like a gallon with them. I don't know why you do that, but <laughs> you could just just drink a lot of water. Like, I, I like to drink most of my water during between my workouts, like in my workout, right before my workout, after my workout. Because I don't want to like carry like a whole like gallon with me. And sometimes I don't have water with me. So like, I drink most of my water like during my workouts and stuff. All right, so first workout right here. We're gonna we're gonna do a step up. Yeah, dude, don't don't fall. You're gonna fall. Be careful. Okay. That was so easy. Told me. So the goal here is um, you know. You're gonna get a bench or a stool. We have that stool. If this is too hard, too high, then you go to that stool. But look, what we're doing here is she's gonna do a step up. This leg that she's stepping up with, is you gotta make sure it's completely straight before you place that other one down. It's for the legs right here. 
we're doing 10 on one leg. So we're going 10 with the right leg first where that one goes up. And then after she's done with that, we're gonna go to the left leg and do that side too. Oh, you see you're doing way better. Perfect. I lost count. I think that was nine. One more. Yeah, Janet. Killing it. Okay, now we gotta do the other side. All right, so check it out here. So now this, for the, we're gonna do arms right here. So the whole routine, like the first week, is, is more of like full body. Okay, so yeah, you curl. And then from here, twist up. And then you twist down on the way down. Yeah, perfect. So twist as you go down. And then perfect. So I want you to do 12, okay? We did 10 the first time. This time, I want you to do 12. Check out the form, guys. So knees stay slightly bent whenever you do an exercise where you're standing up like this. Hey, you're gonna get better with this as time goes on. Okay, so go up and then twist all the way. There you go. Okay, so I already, um, this is the second round of every exercise that I had on um, Janet do. The first round, I didn't record it, but something we're doing a little bit different than the first day is um we're taking shorter breaks because I noticed the first session she was a little bit more uh, conditioned than I imagined she would be. Um, so I'm pushing her to do a little bit more more reps, less rest, and we're adding an exercise to this whole routine. Hey, you ready? Yeah. So now we're gonna go straight to the plank. All right. So. Notice her form. It's gonna get better with time. Right now, her hip sags a little bit. So make sure you squeeze your core, okay? And your glutes. Let's do another minute. Come on, you got seven seconds, Jenny. Seven seconds, four, three, two, one. There. Damn. Good shit. Hey. You're in so much pain, but you're hiding it, huh? Yeah. <sighs> how do you oh feel so God. far? It's a little, a little harder. Or how do you, how do you think? What do you think it's about this? It's a little this? harder, but. <laughs> yeah. Nothing you can't do. See, when you're in the gym, a lot of times it's a mental battle. It's you versus you. You know how bad do you want it? How bad do you want to, you want to see results? You know, you have to push yourself those last reps. You know, obviously, if you're just starting out. You might not, not be able to push yourself like that, you know. But there's gonna be a there's gonna come in time a time in this journey, this process, where you have to push yourself. You know, that's the only way you're gonna see results is you push yourself. You can't just go through the motions and expect to see the results that you want to see. You have to push yourself. Okay, now we got some squats again. Trust me, her legs are in pain because of the soreness from Monday, so they're gonna feel a little harder. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I want you to do 15 reps, okay? Do five more. One, two, come on. There you go, Johnny, there you go. One more, fight through that burn. Good job. Oh, an extra one. Oh, uh, no, you're good. Oh, shit. Okay. So next we got um, back rows. So, okay, so hold up, hold up. So you're gonna slightly bend your knees, make the hips go back a little bit. Okay, arms are straight down. And then when you go back with the elbows, make sure you squeeze the sho shoulder blades. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect, this is for your back, the back muscles, you know. There you go. This is gonna help get rid of um, what girls call bra fat. There you go. Perfect. You got it. That's perfect. Okay, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good shit, Janet. 
making me proud. Hey, I like that it's um, I like that it's the second, the second session, and you're already pushing yourself hella hard. I know. Imagine when you're hella conditioned. Fuck, I'm excited, dude. I know, me too. You're gonna be showing everybody the push-ups. You're gonna be fucking doing push-up, clapping push-ups. You know what clapping push-ups yeah. are? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, make sure your hands are on the ground. Perfect. And then you jump back up and then position yourself for a squat. And there you go, that's one. Ten of those, okay? You're good now. Last time you did last time you did eight. Eight burpees. And you didn't even jump back like that. See, we're already making progress. That's two. Three. So what Janet's doing is um, she's putting her hands on the ground and then she's jumping back. If you can't jump back, then you could just step back. But she's able to jump. If you are able to jump back and then jump back up, I'd rather you do that. But if that's too hard for you, then of course you can step back and step forward and then squat. There you go, Janet. About three more, Janet. You got two more. How bad do you want this change, Janet? Come on. Nine. Come on, one more. Come on, last one. Hey, there you go. Come on. Shit. Good job, dude. Good shit. Good shit. So, you know, something that I'm teaching Janet to do early on is to push yourself you know you gotta push yourself you want to see results you gotta force your body to change your body doesn't want to change you have to give it a reason to change so when you push yourself you know especially when you feel the burn you push yourself to do like two three four more reps and you do that consistently over time that's when you see the biggest changes you know and i'm just here teaching janet early on so when she comes to the gym all she knows is hard work and that's what i want you guys to know okay so last time i had janet do push-ups on the ground but they were a little too hard even though she was on her knees a trick that i recommend is um if you have a machine like this at your gym the higher you place the bar the easier they're gonna be so obviously if you're able to go lower that's the goal but go to where you're able to do the push-up so we got the bar at this level right here you're good and notice her position she's on her toes she's going forward her head is going that way as she goes down for those push-ups and then as this gets easier, then we start lowering the bar levels by levels. And so she's able to do them on the ground. That's how you progress for the push-ups. There you go. So what this is working, and for you guys that don't know, you're working out this part of the arm, and you're working out your chest muscle a little bit, and a little bit of your shoulders. There you go. Perfect. Johnny, got it. There you go, there you go. Two more. You got one more, one more. Damn. Woo. You're becoming a role model for everyone watching. <laughs> hey, um, okay, so we got one more exercise just to put um, sit ups and we're done. You good? You feel, how do you feel? Okay, so sit-ups, let's get to it. So this one I'm gonna have her, have her do them. So since she can't go all the way up on the sit-up, what I'm having her do is sliding her hands up to her knees. That's all she can get to and that's fine. And we're gonna do 15 reps and we're done. There you go. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, five more. Twelve. Come on, three more, and you're done. Last one. Good shit, dude. We're done. Worked out for like 50 minutes, 55 minutes. 
Hey, you're gonna be, you're gonna look back and see yourself doing these sit-ups. You're gonna be like, fuck! I can't believe I struggled so much. Good shit. Hey, so since we're done, um, if you have time, you could go on the stairmaster for like 15 minutes or 10 minutes, whatever. If not, that's fine. You could do cardio tomorrow, or you could do it on Saturday or Sunday, since you're not gonna be with me those days. So whatever you decide to do, it's cool. So if you can only do 10 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever, but as time goes on, you're gonna be able to do more. Um, and also just so go home, just drink your protein shake, your, eat your oatmeal, and keep sending me pictures. I want you to send me pictures every single day. Like, you're not gonna annoy me. Like, don't, I'm just trying to help you and I, the only way I could do that is if I know what you're eating too because I'm not with you those times. So, that's the easiest, that's the best way for us to do this. Um, you know, I'll probably give you another call, mate, either tomorrow or something. Check up on you. Um, any questions? You're good? Yeah. Okay. For now. For now. Um, oh yeah, let's go stretch first and then you can take off. Okay, Pete Squad, before I end this video, I want to just um, point out a couple of important things that you guys need to know. When it comes to the diet, you know, last video, you guys watched my last video. If you didn't, it's important that you guys watch that video. You know, it's important that you guys just don't skip videos. You guys have to watch every video in this series because it's gonna be important. I'm, because it's important, I'm gonna point out a lot of important things in each video. And if you miss a video, you might you might miss out on something important. So make sure you watch that first video. I had a list of proteins, carbs, and fats, and those are just some of the foods. There's so many other carbs and proteins that you could eat out there. But those that was just a list, like a small list. And for those of you who are trying to figure out your calories. I'm gonna link um, a video I made on how to count your calories and another video on how to ca um, calculate your macros. So for those of you who are serious and are trying to make a customized meal plan with your macros, your calories, I'm gonna link them in the, in the comment section. I'm actually gonna, or maybe in the description box, uh, probably in both, just so you guys don't miss it. And you know just to go over the workouts right now this week with janet i'm doing full body right eventually next week or maybe the week after depending on how she does on friday we're gonna i'm gonna start splitting each muscle group meaning i will have one day where it's focused more on lower body and the other days when it's focused more on upper body so this this week was just more full body just to get janet moving you know she has never worked out so i don't want to just Throw, into, throw her into something really intense. You know, I'm easing her in. For those of you who have worked out before, this week might be a little too easy for you. You can still do, do the workouts, maybe add more sets, maybe do all of them three or four or five times, <laughs> depending on your level of phys uh, fitness. And something else that I wanna end the video with is what type of cardio is best for fat, fat burning. The best type of cardio there is is HIT high intensity interval training. Um, that's the kind of cardio that I'm gonna have Janet doing eventually. So she's never worked out, so I can't just have her do hit, it's too advanced. So I'm having her just do running, jogging for now until she's used to running. Once she's used to running, then I'll be able to have her do some hit workouts, you know, sprints and all that type of stuff, maybe in like a month or two. For those of you who have ran before, I suggest you guys do hit. Hit is the best type of cardio to burn fat. Um, you could do it either swimming, um, jump rope, running. You know, you've played basketball, you could do suicides. If you've, you're a soccer player, or you're an ex-soccer player, you could just, you know, do sprints. Um, but when it comes to cardio, high, inter high interval, high intensity interval training is the best type of cardio you could do. All right, Peach Squad, um, this is just the second video. I hope you're keeping up. Remember, don't cheat. The system you're only cheating yourself um but that about wraps it up and remember pineapple belongs on pizza <laughs>